Hello, everybody, and welcome to Corey Turner Talks Cars, and it's time for Name That Car Movie Edition. That's right, we're doing a movie edition of the show today. As most of you know, or, or you may not know, I am a movie producer and a director. You can look me up on IMDb, and I do make some very cheesy horror movies, but that's okay because I love movies and I love cars, so today we're going to combine them. I'm going to give you clues about movies that the mystery car starred in, and we're going to see if you can name that car. So let's jump right in. Remember, this is a contest, so uh, let's see how many points you can score. Let's go for clue number one. All right, for 10 points, if you solve it here, you get 10 points. In this 2007 drama, Will Smith steals me from the lot, rips through New York, and the monsters left after a plague kills off most of humanity. All right, so this movie stars Will Smith. It's from 2007. And he goes ripping through New York in me. Do you know what car we're talking about? If so, great job. You got 10 points. Remember to leave your point total in the comments. Don't tell people what car we're searching for today, but great job if you got it there. If not, let's move on to the next clue. For seven points, I co-star with Keanu Reeves in this action-packed thriller about a retired assassin who, after the death of his wife, doesn't take kindly to a mobster thug killing his puppy and taking me. All right, so we star with Keanu Reeves in this movie. He's a retired assassin. Do you know which car we're talking about? Can you name the car from that clue? All right, if you did, great job. You got seven points. If not, let's move on to clue number three. Here we go. For five points, in this 2006 action movie, from halfway around the world, I take part in a race more focused on drifting the corners than straightaway speed. My Highland Green frame tore it up, even if I did have a Skyline engine. All right, do you know the car from that? There's some good clues in there. It's a 2006 action movie, more focused on drifting through the corners from halfway around the world. Did you get it? If you got it from that one, five points, great job. If not, let's go on to the next clue. For three points, considered the greatest car chase scene of all time, my co-star, Steve McQueen, and myself launched my Highland Green 390 four-speed right to icon status. Greatest car chase scene of all time, Steve McQueen. Did you get it from those clues? Those are pretty good clues. If you did, three points. Congratulations. If not, Let's move on to the final clue. Are you ready? Here we go for one point. I may be a restro mod in this time sensitive, big budget movie starring Nicolas Cage, but even the legendary Carol Shelby got involved in the pro touring trend I launched. All right, did you get it? It's a time sensitive movie. There's a big name in there. No, not Nicolas Cage. The other one is probably a giveaway you know which car we're talking about? Can you name that car? All right, well, before we give the answer, let's at least realize what, uh, or talk about what movies we were discussing. All right, well, Will Smith, of course, that is I Am Legend. The retired assassin, Keanu Reeves, John Wick. I think John Wick 3 is in theaters right now. All right, halfway around the world, of course, Fast and the Furious 3, Tokyo Drift, Drift in the Corners, uh, Steve McQueen, the greatest car chase scene of all time, Bullet. And, of course, Nicolas Cage in that time-sensitive, gone-in-60-seconds time-sensitive movie. Do you know the car? Can you name it? What was your score? Of course, the car we're talking about today, the one, the only, Ford Mustang. This is an incredible car, no matter what generation you're talking about. Of course, it's a star in a lot of movies. Uh, It made a great co-star in the movies we talked about. Uh, and it's an incredible car. Now, as I always like to do, we go see if there's any for sale out there, so let's go take a look real quick. Um, There's some right here. I went over to Hemmings. If you don't ever go to Hemmings.com, you can look at some great cars there. Now, this one's a 1966 Ford Mustang Shelby Tribute. Uh, Of course, the one in Bullet was a 1967 Fastback, but this one is awesome. They went $37,998 for this one. It looks great in red. I love the red and white. I love the striping on that. Look how good that car looks. Absolutely. Um, It's a 350. It's got the Cobra, of course. Uh, Looky there. Carroll Shelby signed the uh, glove box. That's a great car. 
Um, now, if you want something a little more newer, of course, we got right here a 2019 Ford Mustang GT. I found this on Craigslist in Dallas, Texas. Um, this one only has 4,586 miles. Uh, great looking motor. It looks really good in white. I love it in white. Um, there's the interior. Of course, you got the manual transmission, the digital dash, of course. It's a 5.0 that is a good looking car so no matter what generation you like the mustangs are fantastic great co-stars and big budget movies uh, what score did you get be sure and leave your score in the comments don't tell everybody what that we're looking for a mustang we don't want to give it away but leave your score in the comments remember to like comment and share and please subscribe to our youtube channel let's go car shopping tomorrow